all right my friends so now we've been able to register a user we've logged in the user and we can also log out the user but there's one thing we need to do though we need to have a dedicated api endpoint that can just fetch the user data so let me show you what i mean so if you open the um project the finished project you see here that in this our profile page we retrieve the user data and then we display it on the page and from there we can then go ahead and edit or do whatever it is we want with that data now although we have um the register user and the login user at the end of those operations we are fetching the user data but technically it's not ideal for us to rely just on that we need to have a dedicated api endpoint for getting the user profile and that's what we're going to do now so first off let's create a special route for that i'll call that route get user route so i'll come to my code editor and then i'll just add a new route it's going to be a get route because we just want to get some information from the database so here i'll change this to get user then the function that we're going to execute is also going to be get user now of course you know we've not created this controller function if you save this you're going to get an error so we need to be inside of our user controller and then we need to create that new um, controller function so i'll add a comment here and i'll say get user data or let's just say get user profile it's actually data so get user data and then let's create an arrow function or oh, no a controller function cf and these are snippets i just created to so get user and then i'll just wrap it with um it needs to start here so i'll just wrap it with my async handler so wrap probably i should just create a snippet that will just do that for me once async handler aha so we're good to go next let me just re send something as a response so response dot send and i'll say get the string so i'll say get user data simple as that then lastly let's export it here get user so that we can use it from our routes i'll save it here and now i'll come back to my routes now i can access it first off let's import it control and space bar to auto import and just click on whatever you get here so you see we now have get user here if you go ahead and save everything should be okay now let's test this in insomnia to make sure that that route was cr created properly so i'll duplicate this my logout route duplicate and then i'll just say get user data user data and then i'll just create that okay remember it's a get route but the url is going to end with get user all right so fingers crossed let's go ahead and test send 200 okay and shortly we should get our text that says get user data aha so we've successfully set up this route now let me let me show you something that you need to pay attention to before we go ahead and create this route so i'll bring up my oh sorry i'll bring up my browser here now i'll just click on the dashboard so that we just get the you know dashboard area and then i would open another let me just let me just copy this guy i'll open another tab and i'll log out you know with this tab here so let this tab open up aha so i'll just go inside my dashboard and then i'll log out voila so you see here we are logged out now let me come back to this app here this is the same browser so technically i'm also logged out here because it's the same browser the cookie has been expired has been set to expire rather now i'll try to go to the profile page now watch what happens very closely i'll go to the profile page voila so you see we get a two things happen the first is that we get this notification that the session has expired and is asking us to please log in to continue that's the first thing that happens the second thing that happens is that because we are now logged out we we don't have access to that profile page and that's why we are redirected to the login page so what this means is that let me bring this down what this means is that this is our get user routes that you know we show 
on the front end profile page we're going to protect it we are going to write a function that will check if the user is logged in and if the user is logged in then we give them access to this api endpoint if they are logged out then we revoke their access to this API endpoint. What that means is that we're going to write a function that will protect this particular API endpoint. Only logged in users can see it, and that function is going to be here in the back end. So, in the next one, we're going to do that. All right, see you in the next one then.